So we talked about how you apply for an upgrade and we put a schedule together. The, the question is at a very high level, what happens once you, you actually start that upgrade on, on the day it starts? Uh, it's broken down into about five steps, okay? The first step is with my team, which consists of building the, the process to, uh, to perform the upgrade. Uh, I like to think of it as we're building a machine where we take an existing database and, and code tree and we plug it in and out comes uh, an upgraded version. Um, the, uh, so that's easy for you, the customer, because aside from answering questions from us as to things we don't understand, there's really not much to do. You just basically go about your business with whatever you're doing while we put it together. Um, the second step is one of my favorites, which we introduced a couple years ago, uh, which is the pretest. The pretest is essentially I try to, as part of, of, of that questionnaire we filled out, we try to uh, we get a list of all the tests that you have, and we're going to try to execute them one time, um, not necessarily with the goal of, of fixing everything, although that would be uh, terrific. Um, but with the goal of finding all the major bugs and stuff to try to get those so that when we deliver something to the customer, they have something that's working to a degree that they can test. Um, you know, the better the acceptance test, the more it gets validated and the closer we are to having something that's production ready. Um, the next step is where the customer finally gets to work or you get to work. The, uh, it's major regressions. Um, the goal with this phase of the project is we're trying to get through everything that needs to be checked one time, um, not necessarily to find everything so it's not necessarily pretty, but so it's functional. So we're able to execute everything that needs to be ch executed so it works. Um, I always say it's like, it's like if you're making a part, um, you can open the part, you can create the part and everything else, but maybe on the form for the part, there might be a field that is, uh, is green and it's supposed to be blue. It doesn't affect the functionality of it, but it has to get fixed before we go live. So that kind of a bug is not something we're trying to fix in this phase. We're trying to find the bug that when you click on it to make a new part, the whole system crashes. You know, we get that working. So you can create the part, but maybe the form doesn't look pretty. Um, the next cycle is what I call minor regressions. Um, this is the part where we make it pretty. Um, we try to fix those bugs like that part form that I described that, that make that one work um, make it work, make it look pretty. Um, the other thing we're doing is in the course of the major regression cycles, we went through fixing everything functionally. We got through it, but there's always the possibility that we introduce some kind of a regression by fixing one of the bugs. And, and this test run is our opportunity to catch those and, and get those resolved. At the end of this one, um, we should have something that is that we we all feel is working, but we have, well, two more phases. The next phase is what I call a verification phase. Uh, this varies as to what's done from customer to customer. Some customers, they want to, uh, some customers, they're small and, and their IT guys may just put a rubber stamp and say, yes, everything works from the last pass and go live. Other customers may have, uh, they may bring in all their users to sit them in front of it and say, yes, can you, do you understand this? Can you use it? Um, other customers may have like, either defense or, or government restrictions or something that they have to go through and do a whole review now that they have a system that is working to make sure that they pass certifications. So when I put a schedule together, I may put two days in there as a placeholder. It could be two hours. It could be two months. It all depends on what the requirements of the customer are. But this part is more what they need to finish up to feel comfortable to say they're ready to go. And the last step is the one everybody looks forward to, which is the actual cutover. Uh, the cutover is actually broken into two, pay, two parts. Uh, we like to do everything possible to the system without taking the system offline a day or two ahead of time. And then on the, on the day we cut over, we take the database or whatever offline long enough to update it, maybe perform some simple sanity checks, whatever the customer decides, and then go live. And then we're done. And that's our, uh, those are our steps to the, uh, the upgrade at a very high level.